नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल कंटिन्यूइंग अवर डिस्कशन ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिफरेंट हाउसेज ऑफ अवर एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल चार्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द मोस्ट ड्रेडेड एंड द मोस्ट पावरफुल हाउस ऑफ अवर एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल चार्ट विच इज द एट हाउस सो वट आर द सिग्निफिकेशन ऑफ द एट हाउस and what kind of results you can expect if you will find 8th house lord to be present in different houses is something which we will try to understand and discuss in this video so friends to begin with 8th house is definitely going to take um, importance and additional weightage in your life if let's say for example your moon is going to be present in the 8th house your ascendant lord your 10th house lord is going to be present in the 8th house but what is more important here is that before coming to any conclusion while assessing the planets present or placed in the 8th house you have to give additional care you have to pay additional attention because 8th house has got the power of making someone a very strong a very inspirational yogi and at the same time it also has got the power to make someone a dreaded criminal and the most difficult part about the 8th house is that whatsoever happens from the 8th house that happens in complete secrecy so okay friends to begin with the signification of the 8th house could be understood in a way that this is the house of spiritual powers this is the house of strong intuition and sixth sense now you have to understand here is that when we talk about the spirituality so there are other houses as well in our chart which also indicate in the same direction like for example fifth house also represents knowledge of mantras or uh, like spiritual text your devotion to gods ninth house in itself represents religion 12th house also represents moksha liberation but when we talk about the 8th house connected spiritual uh, practices they are little bit unusual in nature they somehow involve the concerns or matters of life and death in it they represent going beyond this physical realm which could be a difficult path so all these taboo breaking practices could be attached with the signification of the 8th house 8th house also represents transformation now when we talk about transformation so i mean to say a complete u turn in your life like for example you might be working as a successful corporate person with your priorities with your dreams with your plans everything attached to rising the corporate ladder but suddenly everyone get to know that after 5 years you abandoned everything and you became a yogi a monk and you are very contented with that lifestyle so that kind of complete transformation can be attached with the 8th house 8th house has to do with all sort of taxes inheritances loan alimonies this is the house of your joint resources this is the house of earn earned income all those people who remain lucky in suddenly getting wealth or gaining a, a lottery win speculation all of that is attached with the signification of the 8th house friends 8th house is the house of your in laws like when we talk about your relationship with your uh, with your in laws is it going to be very supportive is it going to be very difficult all of that information we get to know from the 8th house 8th house also represents in the previous times this is the house which was seen for all the water or sea journeys so in a way the foreign settlement can also be attached with the 8th house as well or all those people who thrive and succeed in life by staying or living close to the ocean or the sea 8th house friends also represents when we talk about the difficult aspect of the 8th house so like the way i was telling it to you that 8th house also represents chronic diseases long term illnesses 8th house represents all sort of scandals all sort of controversies defamation allegation and the difficult part here is that whatsoever happens from the 8th house that happens in a forceful in a sudden in a very unpredictable way which might catch you in a surprise or might not even give you time to prepare or plan so that is some in a way the difficult aspect of the 8th house at the same time friends 8th house is the house of our uh, longevity of our life force this is also the house of sexuality so like for example to begin with like the way i said this thing that this is the house of longevity your lifespan that is the only reason that saturn is also seen as 
and connected as the significator planet with the signification of the eighth house and i was also telling you that eighth house also represents sexuality now friends you have to understand here is that in which dignity and strength the planets are present in the eighth house and what is the nature of the planet so let's say for example a venus well placed and dignified in the eighth house might make someone enjoy all sort of sexual experiences but let's say for example a afflicted a badly placed um, mars over here might make someone a victim of physical abuse and let's say for example a rahu present over here afflicting venus might uh, give someone a very unusual a very experimental um, taste or attitude towards sex towards sexual encounters so that is the only reason i was saying this thing that while scrutinizing the eighth house you have to give extra caution eighth house friends also represents your human psychology your command over human psychology now this could be understood in so many different ways so let's say for example if you will find planets in a very afflicted state in the eighth house so it might give rise to all sort of psychological problems all sort of idiosyncrasies but let's say for example if you will find planets well placed and dignified in the eighth house so definitely it is going to give you psychological control psychological power over others at the same time all those people who become successful astrologer successful psychologist all those people who work in the fields of the matters of life and death crisis emergency worker so you will definitely find some sort of contribution coming from the eighth house at the same time so these are some of the signification friends which i wanted to point out towards the signification represented by the eighth house it is definitely a house of crisis it is a house of sexuality and whatsoever happen from here it will definitely have some sort of secrecy transformative energy and unpredictability attached to it at the same time now friends we will try to understand what kind of results you can expect if you will find this eighth house lord to be present in different houses of your chart so friends to begin with if you will find your eighth house lord's placement in the first house so before coming to any conclusion you have to give attention to in which dignity and condition your eighth house lord is present in the first house because for all the aries ascendant and the libra ascendant natives the planet which rules their eighth house also rules their first house at the same time but if you want to understand the general results so this could be seen as a very good placement for all those people who gain from inheritances wills they have access to some sort of secretive incomes which they do not share with the world and at the same time eighth house also represents your capacity and your abilities to do research so eighth house lord planet well placed and dignified in the first house also makes someone and grants someone good researchful abilities at the same time this could be seen as a very good placement for all those people in whose occupation or livelihood secrecy is a very integral part so you could become a good uh, like person who can work in secret services secret organizations and you can also gain in all those kind of occupations and profession friends uh, when we talk about the concerns of the 8th house so 8th house is definitely the house of scandals and controversies so let's say for example if you will find your 8th house lord to be well placed and dignified in the first house so definitely you will be able to tame any sort of controversies any sort of scandals which might be shadowing you or always targeting you but let's say for example if you will find your eighth house lord to be very weakly uh, placed in your first house so you might easily become a scapegoat or easily become a victim of all these kind of controversial situation so you have to take it with a pinch of salt but let's say for example having a strong interest in spirituality on occult subjects and gaining from all of those so this placement can be seen as a very good sign for all those aspect the only vulnerability friends over here is that first house also tells about your personality about your health about your physical constitution eighth house represents deformity all sort of unusuality attached to it so let's say for example all those people in whose case like when we talk about a physical disability or falling prey to that or all sort of unusual diseases or viruses 
targeting you, troubling you. So even from all of those perspective, if your eighth house lot is going to be present in a difficult alignment in the first house. So this could be seen as an indicative of that at the same time. Moving ahead friends. Now, if you will find your 8th house lot to be present in the 2nd house, so this could be seen as a good sign for the perspective of gaining your income from inheritances, wills, legacies, because 2nd house is the prime house of your income. 8th house represents inheritances, taxes, alimonies, all these areas of life. So if you will find your 8th house lot to be well placed, dignified in the 2nd house, native can gain from all of these matters. But let's say for example, if you will find your 8th house lord to be losing strength in the 2nd house or in a very afflicted or difficult alignment in the 2nd house. So this also tells about all those people who lose out their family wealth or all sort of inheritances because of their wrong choices, wrong decisions or wrong lifestyle. And friends to begin with, see 8th house also represents your um, like when we talk about researchful mind and deep penetrating insight. Second house also tells about your speech, about your vision, about your values. So if you will find the 8th house lot to be well placed, dignified in the second house. So it is definitely going to give native a very deep probing mind and very deep oratory skills. When, whenever native open his mouth and whatsoever he speak, it has got deep substance attached to it. So from that perspective, this could be seen as a very good sign. But let's say for example, friends, see when we talk about second house, which is a Maraka house and eighth house, which, which also represents your uh, lifespan, your longevity and uh, second house also tells about your close immediate family members. So the placement of the eighth house lord in the second house could be seen as a difficult specifically for the lifespan connected to the family member. So let's say for example, if um, any of your family member is already going through health related concerns or uh, the concerns of old age and at that particular time your um, second house uh, or the eighth house lord in the second house gets activated because of transit or because of the dasha it could create some sort of health related concerns to the family member so you have to take it with a pinch of salt moving ahead friends now, if you will find your 8th house lord to be present in the 3rd house. So friends, even if you will use the concept of Bhavad Bhavam, in order to reach the 3rd house from the 8th house, you have to go 8 houses ahead of it. So that means it is the more empowered version of the 8th house. So if in any circumstances or situation, your 8th house lord is going to be empowered and well placed in the 3rd house, so this could be seen as a very good sign where native is definitely going to be very fearless. And if in your case, you work with your own skill or any sort of marketing interest or sales, media, performing arts is getting qualified in your case. So you might be able to do something very good, something extraordinary with this kind of alignment or with the support of this alignment. Friends, when we talk about third house, which also tells about your self-initiated efforts, your capacity to take initiative. So with this particular alignment, like the way I have already said this thing, that native is definitely going to be very empowered and very fearless in any sort of conflicting situation. But friends, when we talk about the living signification of the third house, so this is not a very good sign. Third house, which is the house of your friends, third house, which is the house of your younger siblings. So let's say, for example, whether the eighth house lord is getting empowered, it is losing its strength or it is agitated in the third house. In any circumstances or scenario, it is definitely going to bring unpredictability or some sort of transformative energy in the form of your relationship with your siblings or with your friends, where there could be those days where everything is going fine and suddenly something creeps out and your relationship completely became very bitter. So these kind of energies or transformative energies could be attached with the 8th house lord's placement in the 3rd house. Friends, when we talk about the 8th house lord's placement in the 4th house. So friends, to begin with, this could be seen as a good sign, as a good placement that because as you know this thing that in order to reach the 4th house, from the 8th house so that means you have to go 9 houses ahead of it so to begin with this placement could be seen as a blessing in a way that 
if you actually want to deal in construction you want to deal in real estate and all those people who remain lucky in gaining property specifically in inheritances in wills so from that perspective this could be seen as a good sign and at the same time friends fourth house tells about your deep emotional state your inner psyche inner emotions eighth house might give you access to having a deep penetrating uh, like intuitive side to your emotions like whatsoever which might be happening deep in your psyche you might have answers to that in the sort of you can attach to it with spirituality with intuition with sixth sense but you will definitely have a an answer that why these kind of emotions are erupting in within you why you are suddenly getting overwhelmed by these nature of thoughts so in this regard this could be seen as a good sign but when we talk about your relationship with your mother so there you might have to face some sort of ups and downs or some sort of transformation might come but let's say for example whatsoever is going to happen that might pave path for your own growth or might inspire you in order to do good so from that perspective this placement can be seen as a good sign moving ahead friends now if you will find your 8th house lord planets placement in the 5th house so this could be seen as a good in this regard that just because 5th house which represents your speculative interest 8th house which represents intuition probing mind and unpredictability so you might remain lucky in gaining in all sort of speculations like whether in the form of gaining from stock markets gaining from lottery if only your 8th house lord is going to be well placed and dignified in the 5th house friends you have to understand this thing that for your 8th house lord to be present in the 5th house so it means it has gone 10 houses ahead of it so when we talk about specifically in the fields of spirituality in the fields of occult so this is definitely going to create some very good energy over here like native might have a very strong intuition native might actually have interest and devotion towards gods native might be very ritualistic in fulfilling his duties and showcasing his devotion to his east devta so from all of those perspective this could be seen as a very good sign but friends as you know this thing that when we talk about the fifth house which is the eighth house from the tenth house so somehow in the profession it could give some sort of transformative energy and when we talk about the relationship of the native with his children that could go through transformation ups and downs or vulnerability of you know it's like confusion unusuality so there you have to pay attention that in which dignity or strength your eighth house lord is present in the fifth house moving ahead friends now if you will take up the case of eighth house lord to be present in the sixth house so friends as you know this thing that these both involved houses are the dushtana houses and any exchange of the dushtana houses is seen as the vipreet or reversal in the form of the Raj Yoga, which in itself is considered as fortunate combination. Minus and minus yields to a positive. So you have to give attention to that in which dignity your 8th house Lord is present in the 6th house. Because let's say for example, if it is well dignified, so you might remain very lucky in uh, counseling and healing all those people who might be going through trauma or who might be going through depression or let's say for example all those people who work as a firefighter who work as a cop who work as an emergency worker so in all these field this placement could give you success but friends the vulnerability over here is that if your eighth house lot is not going to be well placed in the sixth house so all those people in whose whether in their business in their nature of job suddenly some financial setback happens or even in the shop suddenly the cases of fire or uh, like theft accident so this could also make you prone and vulnerable towards that as well if your eighth house lot is not going to be well placed or dignified in the sixth house but friends at the end of the day you cannot even deny or overlook this fact that for your eighth house lot to be present in the sixth house it means it has gone 11 houses ahead of it so that in itself means that if your eighth house lot is going to be well placed or well supported in the sixth house so definitely you are going to make use of your intuition 
or intuitive faculties or the support or the help of occult might give you an upper edge in dealing with your enemies, dealing with any of the concerns of the health, any sort of opposition or even in your daily work life, intuition and your intuitive faculties might help you in taking correct decision. Moving ahead friends, now if you will find your 8th house lords placement in the 7th house, so friends as you know this thing that 7th house represents your public image, it represents your relationship, so you have to pay attention to that in which dignity your 8th house lord is present in the 7th house. Definitely there is going to be the concerns of wealth, concerns of psychology, researchful mind and the concerns of uh, sexuality being involved over there. So like when I say about the wealth, so you might gain from your partner or you might lose because of your partner's foolhardiness or some wrong or reckless decision involving you. And when we talk about sexuality, so sexuality is definitely going to be a prime factor indicator in the sustenance of relationship, in the smooth harmony of relationship. And when we talk about the researchful mind, so here I want to say here is that like sometimes what happens is that you end up in a relationship where your partner has got a very suspicious nature, very doubting nature. So it all comes down to that in which dignity your 8th house lord is going to be present in the 7th house. And friends like the way I was telling you this thing that this uh, placement and alignment could be seen as positive in this regard. That business or relationship could take you to foreign lands, could uh, give you access to lot of foreign travels, experiencing different cultures. So from that perspective, this placement, this alignment could be seen as a blessing in disguise. Moving ahead friends, now if you will uh, find the 8th house lord to be well placed in the 8th house itself, so this could be seen as a very fortunate combination because the 8th house lord is going to protect its own house's signification. Never ever a house lord distort the signification of its own house. So now what is going to happen over here is that this is the nature of the your 8th house lord planet. It is going to approach the signification of the 8th house. Friends, I have already said this thing that all the houses in our chart have got a limit attached to it. But when we talk about a limitless house, that is only the 8th house. So depending on the nature of your 8th house lord, so for example, Mars could actually make someone very fearless even in the matters of uh, spirituality, uh, any sort of um, like ghost, psychic influence, matters of life and death, native is definitely going to be very fearless even in all those kind of situation. If Saturn is going to be protecting your 8th house, it could actually grant you good researchful mind. It could actually give you longevity, long life. Mercury might give you strong discriminatory intuitive intelligence which native might use for his own commercial gains in the life. So it all comes down to the nature of the planet being well placed and protected in the 8th house. But friends, if you want to understand the general results, so this can be seen as a very good sign where all the signification of the 8th house which I have already shared with you is definitely going to help native to succeed in the life and even in the spiritual path, when we talk about gaining from inheritances, having a strong intuition and even the secrecy is going to help native benefit and progress in the life. Native is definitely going to have strong intuition. Native is definitely going to have interest in the spirituality, uh, spiritual fields. And when we talk about the relationship with his or her partner, so even from that perspective, this placement can be seen as a very good sign. Friends, when we talk about the sexuality, so definitely native is going to be very curious towards the concerns of sexuality. So it all comes down to the nature of the planet. So let's say for example, a Venus well placed in the 8th house could actually make the native enjoy all sort of sensual experiences. It could actually give native a strong charisma and all those people who tend to become a sex symbol or they exude lot of sexual uh, like uh, aura and energy that the other people of the same gender feel envious of them and they remain very lucky in attracting the opposite sex. So from that perspective this could be seen as a very good sign. So in a nutshell friends this placement of the 8th house lord well placed in its own house is definitely going to make native or grant native 
access to the secret functioning of the universe when we talk about the fields of occult when we talk about being very researchful being very uh, empathizing a uh, healer and very transformative open towards the transformation because you have to understand here is that not always the transformation brings chaos in our life many times what happen is that you were engaged in a job you lost your job you were very disheartened and you were very like heartbroken but you do not even realize that that might be paving path for a successful business for you so transformation could also happen for your good as well and with this 8th house lord's placement in the in its own house this could be seen as a very good indicative for all those area of life where doing any sadhana following any occult or spiritual or astrological remedies also work in the favor of the native like many times what happen here is that see friends when we talk about spirituality when we talk about devotion that is one thing which always comes back we all are entangled in the law of karma no one is out of that no one is out of the grip of the karma whether you are doing bad deed or good deed whether in this life or next life it is going to circle back and come back to you but when we talk about the 8th house lot well placed in its own house so here i'm trying to say over here is that even doing or following any of the remedy any sort of occult remedy that also function and brings very quick and good results for the native so from that perspective as well this placement can be seen as a very good sign where native is definitely going to gain from insurances from wills from joint resources from his in-laws so from all of those perspective this can be seen as a very good sign moving ahead friends now if you will find your 8th house lord's placement in the 9th house this could be seen as a little bit difficult placement in this regard that for all those people who are very cultured who follow a structured religion so with this kind of alignment this could make native little bit unusual in approaching all these areas of life because friends you have to understand this thing that it's the ninth house only in our life in our chart which keeps us on the right path in the life when we talk about all sort of virtues and goodness which can be found in the world in the society in the form of uh, compassion forgiving nature devotion righteousness doing charity all of that is uh, encapsulated in the ninth house only and when you are bringing the energy of um, unusuality of sexuality so and secrecy in the ninth house so this could distort the signification of the ninth house at the same time so it all comes down to in which dignity your this planet is present over there because let's say for example for someone like a gemini ascendant natives so saturn not only rules the 8th house but at the same time it also rules the 9th house as well so in those kind of scenarios this could bring some good results but in general what has been written in our uh, astrological scriptures here is that with this particular alignment native might have a very different a very unusual a very outlaw kind of approach towards religion and when we talk about the devotion to the gods so even the kind of people native like get devoted to that always has to be given attention to because native might fall prey to wrong advisors wrong counselors wrong mentors so it all comes down to in which dignity in which condition the 8th house lord is present in the 9th house and like the way friends when i was telling you about that 9th house also represents wisdom and 8th house represents all the taboo things so this could also give native approach all these uh, like wisdom and knowledge in a bit unusual way because when we talk about the left hand path of spirituality like all those people who become tantric all those people who take interest in all these kind of eccentric spiritual practices so they have their own logic their own understanding of being on that path but in the eyes of the society that is not considered as very acceptable but with this kind of alignment this kind of placement it could also give rise to towards all these area of interest at the same time like with this kind of placement native might try to be always relying on the lucky break or all those people who take or resort 
to gambling on all sort of underhanded activities just relying on their luck to further their nefarious intentions and motives so this could be indicative of that as well only if you will find your 8th house lord to be afflicted in the 9th house and at the same time when we talk about the living signification which is your father so it could also give a very distant a uh, very uh, troubled a very questionable relationship with the father because friends in my own experience i have generally not found many good cases in my research like majority of the cases where i have seen people who even have to flee to other countries in order to get uh, save themselves from any sort of tax related concerns like even in recent times we have seen lot many indian millionaires and billionaires who escaped to different countries just because of their tax related concerns and the frauds which they did in their own native home country so this could also give rise to that and also when we talk about the sexual encounters so even while approaching or indulging in any sort of sexual encounters native not behave in a very moral full way like native might be ready to um, like opt for any kind of nefarious or questionable way just in order to get uh his sexual appetite fulfilled so this could also indicate in that direction as well so friends at the end it all comes down to that in which dignity your 8th house lord is present in the 9th house trust me at the beginning of this video only i have mentioned this thing that when it comes down to scrutinizing the 8th house you have to give additional weightage because i do not know in which dignity your 8th house lord is present in the 9th house is it being protected by the aspect of jupiter or not what is the condition of your moon influence of rahu so after taking into consideration everything then only you have to land to any uh, particular conclusion one thing which could work in the favor of native that too in a bit unusual way is that just because native will keep on changing his views on his own religion that innate curiosity or rebelliousness might take native to foreign lands might give interest to foreign cultures all those people who become a part of the different cults and secret society and gain from that so this could be seen as beneficial only in that regard moving ahead friends now if you will find your 8th house lord's placement in the 10th house this could be seen as good in this regard that just because your 8th house lord has gone three houses ahead of it so 10th house which represents your all sort of public outdoor activities your professional aspirations your professional ambitions so this could be seen as good in this regard that native is definitely going to be very revolutionary native is definitely going to be a crusader and could be little bit philanthropic humanitarian a uh, concern and aware of the well-being of everyone so native if let's say for example if remain lucky in getting to a position of power authority where his efforts can actually bring some change bring some good change in the lives of the people involved so native will be able to do good in those areas only if you will find your 8th house lord to be well placed and dignified in the 10th house but all the good things come with a cost and the cost which comes from the 8th house is always unusual or bit difficult so like the way i was telling it to you that 8th house is the prime house of scandals and controversy so native's occupation or livelihood or his profession is definitely going to be surrounded by all sort of controversies but friends as you know that all the successful rich and the influential people whether you become a politician whether you become a good corporate uh, like a big head or like when we talk about all those people who are actor politician all the public figures allegations controversy always come handy as a part of their nature of job so you have to remain very much uh, accommodating to all these kind of things at the same time and let's say for example if your 8th house lord is going to be strengthened and dignified in the 10th house so trust me even you will gain from all those kind of controversies at the same time all those controversies which might happen they at the end might end up giving you more power more gain more authority so from that perspective this placement could be seen as a very good sign 
But friends, like the way I said this thing that the 8th house in order to reach the 10th house, it has to go 3 houses ahead of it, which is the number of communication. So now what is going to happen over here is that native's work style or the way native is going to present himself or project himself while fulfilling his duties, responsibilities, specifically pertaining to his career that might many times get miscommunicated, misconstrued or misunderstood. So it is very important for the native to make his moves very transparent and whatsoever he is going to do at his work front, always keep the people of authority, his colleagues in his confidence so that his moves should not be misunderstood in a negative way. Friends, the only vulnerability with this alignment here is that, let's say for example, if the 8th house lord is not going to be well placed in the 10th house, then native might take use of the secretive underhanded activities and all sort of vices and malicious acts and intentions in order to gain authority, power. Moving ahead friends, now if you will find your 8th house lord to be present in the 11th house. So friends as you know this thing that 11th house is the house of our wish fulfillment. 11th house is the house of all sort of opportunities and gains which we will get in our this lifetime. So friends with this kind of alignment this could be indicative of that let's say for example native might have his source of income connected to the 8th house related signification where like no matter whatsoever is going to be your occupation, your livelihood, but you will definitely thrive and flourish because of little bit secrecy involved in it. There is definitely going to be strong possibility that you will gain from inheritances, from wills, from legacies, uh, taxes. If only your 8th house lord is going to be well placed and dignified in the 11th house. Any sort of pilgrimage, any sort of occult remedies or practices opted by you can actually bring some very good results in order for the fulfillment of all of your wishes. And friends, as you know this thing that 8th house which also represents sexuality, sexual interest, sexual prowess and 11th house represents all sort of public dealings, large group networking and association. So let's say for example, if in someone's case, because friends for all these kind of things, we have to take into consideration that in which era, which culture, which country you belong to. Because let's say for example, in the Western countries, if your overall planetary alignments are indicating a very flamboyant, a little bit hedonistic lifestyle. So with that culture, with that alignment, this could actually give you access to lot of partners at the same time, only if that is getting qualified in your case. Or let's say for example, all those kind of people you become a part of a group or you get associated with, you might be always interested in uh, talking about um, occult subjects, talking about spirituality or talking about uh, sex or uh, finding um, different partners. Because friends, when we talk about the 11th house, 11th house tells about our group activities and what kind of nature of activities we want to be a part of. You want to be a part of a spiritual retreat. You want to be a part of a fashion uh, so once you want to meet and collaborate with all sort of creative people. So it all comes down to it represents group activities, but what kind of activities you want to be a part of. So with this kind of alignment of your 8th house lord in the 11th house, it could give rise and interest to these kind of nature of activities which you want to be a part of. And friends, as you know this thing that 8th house is always the house of unpredictability, confusion, controversy and all the living signification of the 11th house which primarily represents your elder siblings and also your friends. So this alignment could also give rise to confusion or misunderstanding only if your 8th house lord is not going to be well placed in the 11th house. And last friends, if you will find your 8th house lord's placement in the 12th house. So friends, to begin with, this could be seen as a vulnerable sign or placement for having a strong vitality or strong life force. Because 8th house which represents your life force is going in the house of loss. But at the same time friends, both of these two houses are the Dushtana Bhav. And like the way I have already said this thing, that the ownership or the exchange between these 
Dushtana houses is also considered as the fortunate combination. Minus and minus yields to positive. So when we talk about spirituality, when we talk about complete devotion to the gods, so this could be seen as a very good sign. Friends, you have to understand this thing that in order to reach the 12th house from the 8th house, that means you have to go 5 houses ahead of it which is the energy of devotion. Five is the energy of devotion. So which in itself tells about that all those people in order to fulfill their devotion towards the gods. Now it all comes down to which nature of God you are associated with. Let's say for example, if you are devoted to some sort of malefic or very tamasic gods and the energies. So when we talk about taking the path of Tantra, taking the path of like um, living in the cremation grounds or doing all sort of taboo and unusual devotional practices. So native might not hesitate in indulging in all these kind of activities. And the good part here is that whatsoever is going to be happening that is going to be happening in complete secrecy. You might not even know this thing or realize this thing that someone you closely know might be secretly doing all these kind of cult practices or might be doing all these kind of shamshan sadhana or all these kind of tantric practices behind your back because he has this capacity to do and perform all these activities with complete secrecy. But friends, like the way you know this thing that the all these kind of secretive practices are not always used to uh, harm others or do uh, bad to others because Tantra is a very misunderstood term or conception in the mindset of the people or the mindset of the world. But now coming back to our uh, context friends, so this placement can be seen as a very good sign where native is definitely going to travel a lot to the foreign lands. He might find answers to his spiritual quest. Uh, from the foreign culture, in the foreign land, um, by the guidance of the foreign mentors, foreign gurus. And when we talk about gaining um, uh, from the speculation or any sort of speculation gain, this placement of the 8th house lord in the 12th house, which is kind of a Sarala Yog, a Viprit Raj Yog, is actually creating some very good energy. Whatsoever uh, spiritual powers or inheritances, wills, legacies, native wants to attain, there is definitely going to be long wait, lot of hard work, little bit secrecy involved in it. But at the end, if 8th house lord is going to be well placed, well dignified, protected in a good influence in the 12th house. So then in those kind of scenarios, native can actually gain from all the 8th house related matters. So this is something friends, which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs on the signification of the 8th house. The only one note on which I want to conclude this video here is that friends, see as a psychic, it's my role to tell you all aspect of the 8th house and the general probable indicative result of the 8th house lords placement in different houses. Like for example, whatsoever has been written in our uh, like our astrological scriptures and whatsoever I have found truth in my own research but i do not know the planetary alignments in your chart so before coming to any conclusion take it with a pinch of salt and study it with all different ways by which you can do it so for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page thank you